We attach ourselves to people that make us feel warm and welcomed. It helps build community and it helps our survival. If you have untreated trauma, it affects you on a DNA level, you can pass that onto your kids. So it's well worth getting your trauma sorted out. And I do my best to see that silver lining within every experience. The solution should be simple, but it's not because we're talking about culture change, talking about changing behaviours, we're talking about challenging identities. You, you often find something that you were, um, you were, uh, you made mention of this idea of like, you can't be that free, it can't be a weak, mm. um, but um, it can be something. And one of the, one of the things that I, that I, that I like, I like this idea of like playing into or, or being curious about what the greener grass is and then finding a healthy balance there. Cause if you get, if you're, I mean, all mental dysfunction is basically just rigid thinking, being unable to let go of whatever this thing is, if it's sadness and tears or anger or some sort of intrusive thought, you know, it's very easy for us to conceptualize greener grass. So I just wish I could, you know, all the classic question, well, if you had a magic wand, what would, what would it look like? What would life look like for you? How, how would your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend be different? What would they be, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I just wish they did this, or I just wish my life was like this, or, you know, cause you're exactly right. We're chasing a feeling, you know, that's, you know, you know, this neurochemistry has been around for 210 million years, you know, mm -hmm. mammals are very, very old mm -hmm. cars and, porn and food and shopping that's all new stuff but it's the same neurochemistry but sometimes just thinking about the greener grass and then finding a healthy balance between your actual situation and what you want can be enough absolutely and you, you talk about this greener grass you know is the grass greener on the other side or is the grass greener where you water it right and how do you water it you know mm. like um can you water can, can you water the concept and that feeling of freedom by simply journaling about it right by closing your eyes and meditating on it by having uh, an incredibly emotive in-depth conversation with your partner about you know planning a trip yes. at some stage and just getting excited together for the concept you know there are so many ways that you can elicit that do dopamine response within your body. Um, like you said, we're, we're creatures that have evolved over millennia, like multiple, multiple hundreds of millions of years. So to think that we only have one way, all we're after is creating that, that, that chemical response within our, our body, right? Yeah. How can we do that without jumping on a plane and taking a month out of our lives. And there's nothing wrong with doing that if it's possible, you know, like yes. I think that's great, but like let's let's be practical as well.